What if you could improve your productivity by 30% without sacrificing your happiness? What if it turned out that becoming happier was actually the key? After spending over a dozen years at Harvard University, I wanted to test the latest scientific theories of happiness and performance in the business world, outside of the lab and the ivory tower. Over the past two years, I've traveled to speak and research in 42 different countries. And amazingly, what I found at almost all of these schools and companies is that they follow the same formula. And that formula is, if you work harder, then you'll be more successful. And if you're successful, well, then you'll be happier. What we're finding in the field of positive psychology is that this formula is broken. Part of that has to do with how we define success. Every time we're successful, we merely move the goalpost of what success looked like. So for example, if we hit our sales target last quarter, we merely change what that sales target is for the next quarter. And if happiness is on the opposite side of that success, every time you change what success looks like, happiness gets pushed over the horizon. But more importantly, what we've discovered in the field of positive psychology is that the formula is actually backwards. Our brains work in the opposite way. Happiness actually fuels success, not the other way around. If you can find a way to get your brain to become positive, your success rates will increase. And as a result, work will become more productive, enjoyable, and rewarding. So if we can change the formula, if we can reverse it, then we can maximize our brain's potential and our performance will increase dramatically. Not to mention the fact that we'll be happier right now in the present. I can imagine that you might be skeptical about all of this. Could happiness really make a difference to our work? Well, the research shows that it actually does. Let me explain.